Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, I'm going to be chatting through my top 10 footwear staples for autumn winter. These are the shoes and boots that I wear the most this time of year, and also the majority of them are really classic, timeless styles, so I bring them out year after year. Everything featured will be linked below in the description box. However, some of the styles that I am going to be showing you, I have had for quite some time, and so some of them may no longer be available, um, but I have found some really great alternatives. And so as I chat through each style, I will also insert cutaways of some alternative options to hopefully suit all budgets. If you do have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you do enjoy the video and you find it useful, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. But let's get going with the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with one of my most worn styles, particularly in autumn, and it is a pair of classic black loafers. This pair are from And Other Stories. I got them a couple of years ago, but they do bring out the exact same style each year. And I just love the style of these. I love how classic they are. They're very similar to the Gucci loafers, but obviously a fraction of the price. They're leather. I just think they're a really lovely classic pair of black loafers. I know chunky loafers are very in at the moment, very on trend, and I do like how they look, but I think for me, a pair of, you can't go wrong with a pair of classic black loafers. They're just very timeless, very classic, and they're not going to kind of date within a couple of years. So for me, if you're investing in a pair of black loafers, I would always go for just a slimmer, more classic style. And I definitely recommend this style from And Other Stories. For a more affordable option, I spotted this pair from H&M. They are from their premium selection. I think they're $49.99, but they are real leather. So I thought for a real leather pair of loafers, really great price point. They look a nice style, a little bit chunkier than these ones, um, but still a nice classic style. I also spotted this pair from Ralph Lauren that I thought were really nice. Again, super similar to these ones, but they've just got the Ralph Lauren branding on the buckle, um, but not too over the top. The branding is still quite subtle. And again, just a really lovely classic style. Um, for a very simple, plain black pair, I spotted these ones from Flattered. I thought they looked lovely quality, a little bit more chunky, so kind of touching on that chunky trend, but without being overly chunky um, and no hardware on them either no kind of silver or gold hardware so you can wear them with any kind of metals if you prefer to wear silver i kind of think that sometimes it's nice to have a loafer with no hardware on them at all um, and i also spotted this pair from flattered as well and if you followed me for a while you will know that i have this pair of loafers in the backless version in tan and nude and they are such a beautiful classic style of loafers i wear them so much throughout spring summer um, and i think the black pair with the back on them are perfect for autumn as well just a very simple plain black style with that kind of crossover detail on the front again no hardware um, and again really lovely quality as well next up are a pair of black lace-up boots and this has got to be one of my most worn styles of boot over i said over the past maybe 10 years i love this style of boot i wear them so much throughout autumn winter this pair are from Flattered, and I am working with Flattered on part of this video. If you've watched my previous footwear videos, you will know I have raved about Flattered footwear for quite some time. I've got some really beautiful styles of footwear from Flattered that I love, so I'm very pleased to be working with them on part of this video, and I will be showing you a few different styles from Flattered, as well as some alternative brands as well. But this pair are new from Flattered, and they are just gorgeous i love everything about them i think they're just the right amount of chunkiness they've got that lovely chunky sole but not too much sometimes um you know the doc martens you can get with the really chunky sole for me they're a little bit too much for my style whereas i love the fact that these are a little bit chunky but still look lovely and classic at the same time i like the fact that they're very black even the eyelets the laces are black so there's not too much detail not too much like gold or silver detail going on um, the leather feels really lovely. They're beautiful quality. And then they've just got this tag detail at the back and here as well. Super comfortable on and just love how they look. For me personally, I tend to wear them more with kind of like leggings or leather look leggings or like slimmer trousers. But I also think they look really cool with more of like a wide leg jean over the top. I just think they're such a lovely style of boot and definitely a most worn style for me in autumn winter. 
If this pair are a little bit chunky for you, then Flatter do also have a slightly less chunky version as well. I'll pop a little picture in so you can see. They look really lovely. Again, they're leather. Again, they look beautiful quality. I'm pretty sure they've got the gold eyelets as well. Um, and just very similar style, but slightly slimmer. I also spotted this pair from And Other Stories that are a slightly chunkier version of these. I think the leather looks a little bit more shiny as well and they also come in cream too. And then for a more affordable option, H&M have got this pair for $34.99. They're not real leather, obviously they're not going to be as good quality, but if you are looking for a lower priced option, I thought they looked like a nice style. Next up are a pair of classic white trainers or sneakers. And I wear these all year round, but particularly at this time of year, I just think they're one of my go-to styles of shoes. Look great styled with jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer or a jacket, but also look really great with a smart pair of black trousers or with dresses. I just think they're one of those pieces that work in any capsule wardrobe. They're just a go-to style for me. I pulled out this pair first of all because I just think you can't go wrong with a simple plain white classic pair. This pair are from Everlane. I've had these for around a year but they are still available so I will leave them linked but I just love the simplicity of these. They've got very minimal branding just at the back here and on the tongue as well they say Everlane but it's in very kind of like minimal print so not too much detail. They've also got an E embossed on the side. If you are looking for a more branded pair then I definitely recommend Vasia's. I love mine. I think they're a really lovely classic style. Um, obviously you've just got the branding on the back and the V on the side and I love the fact that these have got the black detail on them as well. They work really well when I'm wearing an all black outfit just to tie in with a little bit of the black details on them and they're a really nice shape as well. Sometimes this style of trainer can look a little bit long or a little bit kind of I don't know just a little bit unflattering on the foot whereas these are a really flattering shape so much so that I have also ordered them in the beige but unfortunately they are a little bit small for me so I'm going to have to send them back and swap them for the bigger size which is why I've still got the labels on them but I thought I would just quickly show you these because I just love them I love the fact that they're a little bit more cream like the actual white of them is slightly more cream than with the black pair so they're kind of more of a cream trainer with the beige details in them so they work well with all of my lovely neutral autumn winter outfits and then for an alternative more affordable option flattered have got a really lovely simple pair of white trainers and again they've also got that beige detail on the side so they tie in really nicely with all of the neutral more beige outfits and they have currently got 30% off in the sale as well so a really great price and I will also leave those linked below. Next up is another classic style but a style that I've been seeing a lot more over the past couple of years and they are black flat knee-high boots and like I said these have been around for years styled up so much in so many different ways but over the past two to three years, I've been seeing them a lot more, particularly on Pinterest and Instagram. And I think they look great styled with tights and dresses, I think for like a more, um, slightly more like masculine look for an everyday dress with tights. These look great. They also look great just styled with leggings as a bit more of like a country chic look. They also look great styled over the top of leather look leggings or even with like skinny jeans tucked in. Um, I just think they're a really lovely classic style, can be styled in lots of different ways and also a more comfortable alternative to a heeled knee-high boot. So again, this pair are from Flattered and they are beautiful. The quality of these is stunning. The leather is gorgeous. The attention to detail is perfect. They're a really lovely, flattering shape. A little bit chunky, a little bit wide on the leg, which I think works really well for this style of boot, especially if you're wearing them with um, tights and a dress. I think having that little bit of space around the calf works with this style of boot. Flattered have also got an alternative option to these as well. A similar style, but slightly chunkier. I'll pop a picture in and also leave those linked as an alternative option as well. If you do prefer a slightly slimmer fit on the leg, Mango have got this pair for $149.99. They've still got the very chunky sole, but they look like they'd be slightly slimmer on the leg. Like I said, personally, I prefer a slightly wider fit, but if you prefer a slimmer fit, then they are an alternative option from Mango. And then H&M have got this pair for $99.99. 
They are also leather, but again, a slightly more affordable option, and they've got the gold buckle going around the bottom as well, which is nice for a little bit of detail. Also, just to mention, this pair from Flattered also come in a beautiful, rich brown option as well. And the other style that they've got of these also comes in like a lovely cream beige as well. So I will also link both of those options below. And I also forgot to mention that I do have a 10% discount code for Flattered as well. I'm going to pop it on the screen and I'm also going to leave it in the description box below. Sticking with knee-high boots, and next up is a heeled pair of knee-high boots. And again, these work with similar outfits to the previous pair, but are obviously a much more dressy option. Personally, for me, I would wear these more of an evening. I do think they also work really well during the day, but I think sometimes the like black knee-high boots with a chunkier heel work better during the day, whereas these with the slightly thinner heel are better for an evening. But I am going to be showing you some more alternative options with chunky heels as well. Um, but this pair are from Reese. I got these via ASOS a couple of years ago and they are beautiful. They're a really lovely style. I like the fact they've got a pointy toe and a thin heel for that slightly more dressy feel to them. They are slightly higher at the front and then they dip down lower at the back. Now, obviously these were from a couple of years, of years ago, so they're no longer available, but I have checked on Reese and they have got a very similar style this year. So I will leave those linked as an alternative option. But like I said before, I love how a chunky heel can look. And I spotted this pair from Stradivarius for a more affordable option. They are $59.99 and they just look like the perfect shape to be worn during the day or of an evening. I think having that slightly more rounder toe and chunky heel makes them feel a little bit more casual and you can dress them down and wear them with like little dresses and long coats during the day for a really lovely classic autumn winter outfit. But again, they work really well dressed up of an evening as well. So I think that pair from Stradivarius are gorgeous and obviously a really great price point as well. They're not real leather, but I think that the style of them, they still look nice quality at the same time, even though they're not real leather. But if you are looking for a real leather pair, then I also spotted this pair from Bowdoin, which look beautiful. Again, a really lovely classic style. They look really beautiful quality. They've got the slightly rounded toe and the chunky heel, so perfect for day to night. And they do also come in tan as well. And I think they come in beige too. So I will leave the different color options linked, but I thought they looked really beautiful. And speaking of tan, I also have this gorgeous pair from Oasis. And again, these have got the chunky block heel. So really comfortable to be worn during the day. They work really well with little roll neck dresses and long coats as a casual day outfit. Um, you can also wear these obviously of an evening as well. But for me personally, I would wear these more of like a dressy day look, but I love the tone of the tan. I think they're a really lovely color, especially for autumn. And they do also come in black as well. So if you like the shape of these with a the slightly slimmer leg, they have got a zip on the inside as well. Um, then I will leave them linked below in the black as well. Next up are chunky Chelsea boots. And these have been a real trend item for the past three to four years maybe. And I did think it might be a little bit of a short lived trend and they might disappear, um, but they're definitely not going anywhere soon. These are all over the high streets this year. Pretty much every shop you go in or everywhere, every website you look online has got a pair of chunky Chelsea boots. And I'm not surprised. I think they are a really gorgeous style of boot. And again, work really well styled with so many different outfits. This pair are from And Other Stories. I got these a couple of years ago now. Um, but again, they have still got the exact same style in stock this year. So I will leave them linked below, but they're a really beautiful style, really lovely shape, really lovely quality. Flattered have got a gorgeous pair of chunky Chelsea boots and they come in lots of different colors as well. So if you do already have a black pair and you're looking for another color option, then there's some really great styles on Flattered. They've got them in tan, cream, navy, just classic black as well. And then they've also got black with um, some contrast stitching and a beige sole as well. So some really lovely options that will be linked below. And then if you're looking for a slightly less chunky version, if you like the look of a chunky Chelsea boot, but you don't really want that kind of proper chunky look, 
then Flattered have got a really lovely, more classic style. Still slightly chunkier than a regular Chelsea boot, but not as chunky as a chunky Chelsea boot. Gosh, how many times can I say chunky? <laughs> um, but I thought they looked like a really lovely classic style as well. And again, really beautiful quality, so they will be linked as well. And then for a more affordable option, this pair are $34.99 from H&M. They're not real leather, but they do also have a leather pair, which are $79.99 and they look like a really lovely style as well. Next up is a very classic, timeless style, and a style that a lot of us have been wearing for many years, and it is the classic black ankle boot. And I feel like this could not not be included in this video because it's just a super timeless style. They're so easy to style with just a very simple autumn winter outfit, and just don't really date, do they? If you invest in a nice pair of leather ankle boots, they will come out year after year. Um, this pair are from Everlane. I got these a couple of years ago and they are just gorgeous. They're a lovely kind of pebbled soft leather. They've got a nice little chunky heel on them. They've got a zip on the inside and a slightly pointy toe as well. And I know a lot of you love these, but I know when I featured these in previous videos, quite a few of you have mentioned wanting a similar pair, but with a lower heel. And I have found a beautiful option. This gorgeous pair from Flattered. And I feel like these are the most classic style of ankle boots that you could possibly go for. They are super simple. They're in a really beautiful, smooth leather. They've got a lovely, slightly, slightly pointy toe, but squared off at the end. So a little bit more modern, really flattering shape. And then they've just got a tiny heel. So it's super comfortable. You could wear these all day and your foot isn't going to ache by the end of the day. And I feel like these would work for a lot of different age ranges as well. I love them. I think they'd, I would style them just with a pair of classic jeans and a blazer or a winter coat for a very classic, simple winter outfit. But when I showed them to my mum, she also loved them as well and said that she would love a pair of these too. So I think they work for a lot of different age ranges. I've just got a concealed zip on the inside um, and yeah, just a really lovely pair of classic black ankle boots. If you do prefer a little bit more of a heel, then Flattered have also got a very similar pair to these with the seam down the front in the beautiful smooth leather, a little bit of a pointier toe, and then they've got a bit more of a chunkier high heel as well. Next up is a heeled black ankle boot. And as I was getting to number kind of eight, nine, and 10, I was finding it a little bit trickier as to which styles to go for. But I looked back through my Instagram, I was kind of looking through my old Instagram reels to see which styles I wore the most last year. And this pair kept popping up. And I loved how they looked with every outfit I styled them, like every reel I was looking through. I just loved how they looked. So I thought these were a must to feature just because I think they're such a lovely style of boot. And again, I've had these a couple of years. I've got these from And Other Stories. They are still available this year. That's what I love about places like And Other Stories and Flattered. They make really classic timeless styles. So they keep the same style year after year, which is when you know it's worth investing in a nice pair of shoes. Um, so this pair, like I said, I've styled it in so many different ways and I just think they're a really great addition to an autumn winter wardrobe when you want a little bit of height with an outfit, but they still look great during the day as well. So I wear these a lot with like my leather look leggings because they've got a block heel. You can wear them during the day, but they also work really well into an evening as well. They look great with a pair of jeans over the top of them as well to kind of, because they're quite narrow around the ankle, you can wear straight leg jeans over the top and they look really lovely like that as well. But I also think that this pair from Mango are a lovely classic style of ankle boot. I'd say that these are slightly more of an evening pair. I'd probably wear these out more with like a nice smart pair of black trousers of an evening or a pair of jeans as a nice evening look because they have got the thin heel and the pointy toe. They feel a little bit more dressy. And then speaking of evening, next up are a pair of black strappy heels. And I wanted to include one pair of just evening wear heels, especially because we're coming into party wear season. And I was trying to think of like my go-to pair of black evening footwear that would go with pretty much any party wear or the majority of party wear evening outfits. 
and I just thought you cannot go wrong with a pair of black strappy heeled sandals. This pair are from Cameron Millen. They are quite a high pair. Um, so I will also show you some alternative options with slightly lower heels if these look a little bit daunting. Um, but they're just a really beautiful classic shape. Very thin straps, very flattering on the foot. For a lower heeled alternative, this pair from And Other Stories are a very similar style with a thin strap here and around the ankle, but the heel is much lower. So obviously they'll be a lot more comfortable, especially for party wear and dancing. And then for a much lower heel, if you're looking for like a low chunky heel, this pair from Flattered look super comfortable. Um, again, just a thin strap around the toe and the ankle, but a super low chunky heel for a really comfortable alternative. And then for a more affordable option, I spotted this pair from Mango. They are $35.99 and they look pretty identical to this Cameron Millen pair. They're very high, they've got the strap here around the ankle, um, but just a really great affor affordable option for a party wear pair of heels. And then last up is a bit of a wild card, definitely not one of my most worn pairs over the past few years because these are a new pair, but I wanted to include something a little bit different for number 10, and these definitely won't be for everyone. In fact, I know they're not for everyone because I spoke about them in a recent favorites video and there was a definite mix of opinion in the comments, but they are absolutely a love it or hate it piece. And they are these gorgeous suede shoes. And these are definitely a trend item at the moment. I've been seeing this style of shoe styled up so much on Instagram, Pinterest, um, TikTok. And at first I wasn't sure, but the more I've seen them, the more I've loved the style of them. And I just think they look really cool and so comfortable as well, especially because they are fur lined. They literally feel like, they feel like you're wearing slippers and obviously you could wear them around the house and then when you go out, you can just leave your slippers on and they've got hardy soles and they're just really comfortable, but they look cool at the same time. This pair are from Flattered. And what I like the most about these is that a lot of the stars I've seen um, on Instagram are just the plain beige suede, whereas these have got this chunky gold buckle and I just think it makes them look a little bit more feminine, a little bit more, like a little bit more expensive, a little bit different. Um, and then obviously they've also got the fur lining, which a lot of the stars I've seen haven't got. So I just think that it makes them that little bit more special. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to style these up. I haven't actually worn these yet, but I just think they're really cool. And I think we're going to be seeing these a lot over the next year and probably into the next few years as well. And Flattered do also have a very, very similar style, but without the fur lining as well. So if you prefer the look of these without this, um, which I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't want fur lining in autumn, winter when it's the most comfortable thing ever. But if you do prefer them without the fur lining, I'll pop a picture in and I will leave that style linked below as well. For some alternative options, obviously you've got the Birkenstock versions of these, which again, I've been seeing everywhere, but I am pretty sure that they are sold out everywhere because they've been such a popular like trend item they're sold out most places at the moment. So I will leave them linked if I can find them. Um, I also spotted a more affordable pair from Marks and Spencers. They've got some clog style with like a buckle on the side, similar to the Birkenstocks, similar ish to these, obviously not as nice quality as these. And I don't think the color options that they've got on offer are as nice as these. Um, but for a more affordable option, I think they are 35 99 from Marks and Spencers, so they will also be linked below. And that is all 10 of my favorite autumn winter footwear staples. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I would love to know your favorite style or for you, like your most worn favorite pair of shoes throughout autumn winter. I would love to know, so do leave a comment below and let me know if there's any styles that you think I've missed out that are kind of like vital for autumn winter footwear. Um, but like I said before, everything featured will be linked below in the description box, along with all of the alternative options that I've been showing you throughout. But if you've got any questions about anything at all, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And like I mentioned, I do have a 10% discount code for all of the shoes that I've shown you from Flattered and I will leave that discount code in the description box below along with any other discount codes I've got for any of the other footwear. Um, but thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.